Watch. Brian Fleeter from FleeterOnFilm.com joining us live now to chat about all of these movies. So the big one this weekend, Brian, is Snow White and the Huntsman. What do you think about this one? Okay, here's what I think about this one. I think we just had this nine weeks ago when it was called Mirror, Mirror, right? And that wasn't a very good movie starring Julia Roberts. I gave that one a C minus. The good news is that this one is very different. It's got a totally different tone. It's darker. It's more of a fantasy epic. Uh, we've got Charlize Theron this time playing the evil queen. We've got Kristen, uh, Kristen Stewart playing Snow White. We've got Chris Hemsworth, also known as Thor, playing the Huntsman. Uh, the good news is that I like the visual style here. There's a lot to look at that's really interesting. I like uh, Charlize Theron's performance. She's always good. I like the casting of the dwarves. But ultimately, I found this movie kind of boring. And I think, ironically, that Snow White and the Huntsman would have been a whole lot better if it weren't for Snow White and the Huntsman. I'm going to give this one a C+. <laughs> All right, Brad, I gotta ask you this really quickly. Why does that always yes. happen with movie studios? They have a theme, and then it seems like there's five movies that all come under this one theme, like fairy tales, or for instance, comic book heroes, and then we see a million and one movies about comic book heroes. What's the deal with that? I, I can't explain it either. I, I just feel like Hollywood you know, gets a theme, and then they just have to keep copying it and making sure we're, we're totally sick of it. I don't like it. They need better ideas. They do. All right, totally. for greater glory, this one has a couple mm -hmm. of good people. Andy Garcia, he's very well known. Peter O'Toole, was this one good? Mm -hmm. This is a great cast. I happen to love Andy Garcia. I'm always looking forward to his latest projects. Peter O'Toole, like you say, always good. You know, this is a story about a Mexican war that took place in the 1920s over the freedom to practice religion. I really wanted to like this movie, but honestly, this is just way too long. It really didn't engage me. I, I feel bad about giving it a C plus, but I'm going to give it a C plus. But I'm also going to give it a little special recognition for having the most mustaches I've seen on film possibly <laughs> ever. So take that for John what it is. Mustaches. Okay, listen, we need to pull through here with, with a better rating because it's rainy here. We need a good movie to go to. What about Bernie? Okay, so Bernie, a movie probably nobody's heard about. This is a dark comedy. I happen to like dark comedies, kind of quirky. Stars Jack Black, who's also sporting a mustache. He plays a very warm, friendly uh, funeral director whose life takes a turn for the weird when he, when he uh, falls for a mean older woman played by Shirley MacLaine. Good movie, good cast here. I'm going to give this one a B. All right, so I guess for us, our only chance is Bernie this weekend. All right, thank you, That's Brian. It. <laughs> Brian Fleeter thank you, from Michelle. Fleeter on Film. Good to see you, buddy. Have a good one. Must Mustaches and funeral homes, two of my favorite things. <laughs> Your dad yeah, owned a funeral, funeral home. That's right, I'm in. <laughs> All right, the